Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. It's Sam Plays. If you are new here, welcome. I am Sam and today we are on Kona Acres and we are going to do a speed build that I am pretty excited to do. So I have this area behind my cafe and I thought it would be really cool to put a barn back here. So if you want to see uh, more speed builds like this, please go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe below. I would love to have you in the community. Thank you to everyone who's already subscribed. And um, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and jump into this speed build. I did get some inspo from Pinterest. I will put the picture. Um, if it's not on the screen, it will be in the description below. Um, the creator is amazing. This barn that I found was incredible. And I knew I had to do something like that on this island. And so... Uh, yeah, I wasn't really sure where I was going to put it, and I thought behind the cafe would be really cool. Um, would look like it was part of the barn, and yeah, I just thought it would be kind of a different vibe. Uh, this, is, this will be my very first sort of perception build, so I am a little nervous about that. Um, that is the one thing that I no i am not the best at would be like views and perception um so this is definitely going to be a challenge for me so as you can see i was just moving the trees around to sort of block the cliff and i am actually going to extend out this cliff um, i want it to be pretty big to start uh, just because the barn is a fairly decent size and I am hoping to center it as best as possible I am not sure if I will but that is the hope that is the plan um, so we are going to see if somehow I can get it sort of centered with this cafe in front of it I did leave the terraforming bit in. Let me know in the comments below. Do you like when I leave in the terraforming so you can sort of see what I start with? Or do you prefer these to sort of be a really short clip and then more of the speed building? So let me know in the comments what you prefer. I love to know what you all think. And um, it just helps me create better videos for for you so so i am using solar panels stalls and um simple panels to create this illusion of a barn the solar panels and this in the stall are sort of acting like the roof portion and then obviously the simple panel panels are going to be the barn um, these codes i found i absolutely love the inspiration i got for these um, one of them is actually from the link that i will post for from the pinterest uh, picture that I found and the others I found just throughout but honestly I think they all do still work together the way I have them set up is pretty is pretty similar to how the picture is and I just love the different um, the different lines how they have some skinny lines some thicker lines I love the white in it I think it really pops off of the red so yeah 
all of the codes are down in the description as well so be sure to go check those out I try to screenshot or write down all of the codes when I find them just so I can put them in the description uh, below trying to be as organized as possible sometimes it doesn't work <laughs> um, but I try so um, I, I need to give credit where credit is due. I just don't know how there are so many talented people um, in this world and I honestly am blown away by these codes that I find. So thank you to all the creators out there. You guys have my hearts. I definitely could not do half the things that I have planned or have done already without your creativity, so. Now I'm going to basically work on the second level of this barn. So far from this view, not this view, but so far in my head, I am really loving what is happening um like i said this is my first perception build so it's really cool to see it sort of come together so again just using those simple um those solar panels in the stall for the sort of roof aspect of the barn. I had so much trouble with this stall. It was... <laughs> It was crazy. <laughs> like a lot of trouble. <laughs> Finally, I extended out the cliff a little bit and uh, that ended up working. So um, yeah, it took me probably a good like, I don't know, five minutes to figure that out. but. I was just being stubborn per usual, and yeah. <laughs> then we have Buck. I was honestly hoping he was asking to move. I really need to get the other dreamies for this island. I have a plan for the laundry, like next to the laundry area. If you haven't seen that speed build, I will post it in the cards above. Uh, go check it out. It's one of my very first ones and I'm still very happy with it. It's my um, Abel Sisters build. Um, but yeah, I have, an, I have an idea for that area and I need a specific villager for that area. Um, and unfortunately, I do not have him yet. So... Um, yeah, I'm, I really need to do a few more, um, villager hunts and things like that. So as you can see from here, um, I am a little bummed that I couldn't quite see those stalls, um, but I still really liked how it came together, how it looks. So I'm overall satisfied with this build so far. I am extending out the cliffs a little bit just so I can decorate in the area, add some trees, things like that. Trying to get a good shot without my huge noggin in the picture, but it's pretty impossible. I, that is one thing I wish is that we could still climb down in picture mode and you can't so I am a little bummed about that but that's okay so now I am just decorating in the area 
trying to make it feel more complete. I did not want to decorate it too, too much. Um, just because I want the barn to be the centerpiece. So I just added a few farmy aspects. Um, I just went and got a bunch of items and trying to add a few trees back here so that way since this is next to the farmer's market I'm trying to sort of block it off as best as possible um, you do still see it quite a bit um, so I might have to go back and figure out how to make this a little more concealed <laughs> um, but yeah Just adding some trees around. I didn't want to put too many on that top level just because um, it just doesn't quite make sense to have a lot of trees there. Um, but I did want to add a little bit of color and height. So I do add a, a couple of them. I was honestly really hoping to get a tree in this area, um, but I had to move that other tree and I got it, but I had to sacrifice another tree. So. And then I tried to do the cliff hack and I couldn't get the water to go. It was just, I was so determined to get a tree in this area. So I had to extend the cliff out more and that's how I got the tree. But it's like I made myself a bigger area than what I wanted. So um, yeah, I was, like I said, a little bummed about that. So the barn isn't necessarily centered. Um, that's okay. I had a feeling I wasn't going to be able to get it centered. Um, but I still think it looks really nice behind the cafe. And I just think it gives a bright color and contrast to the area. The cafe is very brown. Very, it's got some greens in there. And the barn just sort of sets it off and... Um, gives that pop of red and extra pop of color that the area might need. So here I am just getting rid of any cliff possible that I can. I'm not um, really sure what I'm going to do behind this. Um, probably more of a transitional area. Um, I'm, I'm just not 100% sure yet. So um, I did want to try to get rid of as much cliff as possible in case. And worst comes to worst, if I have to build back up on it, I will. I'm just laying down some bushes and flowers, codes, things like that, just to fill in this area a little bit. And honestly, that is really about it. Like I said, I didn't want to decorate here too much. Just add a few farming things, barrels. I got the hay beds. Um, but yeah, I honestly 
love that it's so simple. Added a few flowers. They are seriously the lifesaver of the build here, <laughs> these flowers. So I am starting to love this barbed wire fence and just putting it in little places like this. Just um, so nice. I was trying to figure out what I could put in here and decided to put the, a turbine here. So I might have to get an extra one. I did take it from the farmer's market area uh, to see how it would look. And I really liked it up there. And you can see it a little bit. So that makes me pretty happy. And that also led me to get stuck. So, <laughs> um, yeah. Then I had Coco, and I was going to tell her, no, she can't leave, but she just wanted to give me things, and so yeah. <laughs> My villagers always want to give me items when I am um, building, so here we're going to do the um, sort of walkthrough um, of the perception build. Um, I do really like how this turned out. I am a little bummed that I cannot see the solar panels, so I, I'm actually going to try to rework this a little bit to where I still get the same perception, but I can see the solar panels. Um, but yeah, here in this shot, you can see them a little bit, um, but I sort of kind of wanted to see them a little farther away as well. But overall, I am very happy with how this turned out. Um, I love the silos, and I just love that it adds that little bit of contrast with the red. And it sort of also ties in a little bit with the cafe, since they are brown. Um, but yeah, so here is the barn. Again, I so wish... We could climb down so I can get my face out of this shot. <laughs> um, but yeah, so um, overall, it was fun. It was definitely fun doing something different like this. Um, again, this is my first sort of perception build. I would love to get sort of more of a wide angle view. I wish that we had better cameras in the game. Um, it definitely would make pictures a little bit easier. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm just trying to see if I can move that silo a little bit closer, but I cannot, and that is fine. Like I said, I might go back and tweak this a little bit, but overall I am very happy with how it turned out and just overall amazed that I did this <laughs> that I did this perception build so um, if you like this speed build go ahead and like the video and go check out some of my other ones tell me what you think in the comments below and I will see you in the next video bye